So, the UK legal folding bike for Mengwe. Need to build a bike here. You're in the workshop. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Going there in the living room, go next to the fire, going in there. Thanks, mate. Now we'll have evicted Louis. Let's have a look at the packaging. Oh, it looks very good. Somebody else has come for a nosy now. They really have got the hanger package in these now. It's very rare you see any problems with the packaging. And as usual, I'll only put it together with the tools that it come with. It did come with a separate box, this one, and in there's the basket, and there's a wooden plinth for the back rack. I don't know if they're accessories you have to buy separately, but they come with a separate uh, post individually by themselves. Right, let's get it together. The box, wrapped up separately, I presume that's a front mud guard. There's the kickstand, there's the handlebar stem. Um, set of tools, and they're the only tools we're going to use to put it together, apart from a pair of scissors to cut the tie wraps. A charging brick has a European plug on that, but they've sent the adapter, and you can buy those separately, those known as uh, figure of eight leads. So if you go on Amazon for a few pounds, you can buy one of those with a moulded plug on. It looks like it's got folding pedals, yep. This is what come in the other box. There's an extension cable. Some screws to fit this wood on the back rack. The front rack, there's the seat that come in the main box, and a long seat stem. I've had a quick look through the instruction manual. It's very comprehensive, it tells you everything you need to know. Generally with, the, with these bikes, if you've got any idea about a bike, you can put it together in no time whatsoever. So let's get it together. That's what it looks like when I've just lifted it out of the box. And as I say, I don't have a problem with any of them being damaged. In the early days, some years back when we used to get bikes delivered, but nowadays they've really got it sorted. So, the UK legal folding bike from Engway. It's got loads of travel on the seat. And the handlebars go up and down as well. And it obviously falls in the middle. The battery's in here. And you can charge it from outside. Or you can take the battery out. It's got a rack on the back. It takes 25 kilograms. 20 inch wheels. I think it was about four inch wide, these tires. It's got disc brakes, they're cable disc brakes, and it's got lights back and front that run off this battery. And it's in a nice blue, they do it in other colors. A lot of people say they don't like cable disc brakes. And I, what I would say for a bike like this, they're ideal. Cable disc brakes like these are so easy to fix. But the key about having these, particularly if you're going to have it in your camper van, is that if you have a problem with these brakes, you can change the cable. And an inner cable for one of these is probably about 80 pence. If they're hydraulic and they go faulty, you'd need a proper kit to drain the oil, get all the air out of it, or you'd be taking it to a bike shop and it can spoil your weekend. So I think for a bike like this and what it's going to be used for, cable is probably better than hydraulic it's actually a cast alloy frame pretty pretty trendy isn't it simple black and white display three power settings on it it is a uk bike so it has got a throttle but this is disconnected and it's a 250 watt motor with pedal assist and with it being a folding bike it's got folding pedals as well. It's got the Shimano gears that most of these type of e-bikes have. And again, straight out the box, no adjustment. 
didn't have any problems whatsoever. And up and down the gears with the two levers. Nice and easy. Well, this is just a camera mount. <laughs> that doesn't come with it. Your lights are switched on on the actual screen. And there's a front light there with a reflector, LED. Wired into the main battery. And then it has a backlight there as well. Which is also a brake light. Plastic mud guards, front and back. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be good in the back of a camper van. I'm impressed with how much movement's on the seat and the handlebars are just as well. And they're on quick releases. I like that. Display's fine, it does everything it likes. It's got a little bell on it. You can get a basket to fit on the front. I like it that the lights are connected to the main battery and that it's got a brake light as well. That works off both brakes. But I think this is a great sort of bike for putting in back of your car, driving to the countryside and having a cycle round if you live in a town or a city. So it falls up reasonably small for what it is. Put in back of your camper van, your motor room. Um, when you go away and cycling into a village or having a cycle around. And if you had two of them, and there's two of you on the trip, you'd get two of these in back of a, a motorhome or a camper van. You wouldn't need a very big garage for it, would you? Stand fitted. It's got everything you really need, hasn't it? Yeah, I like the colour. I really like the colour. Colour matches matches the zips on the Oh yeah, we planned it that way, Jim. <laughs> we planned it. We we spoke to them and said, can you spray one especially the same colour as your wrap jacket? It was all part of the plan. <laughs> Got to be matching. <laughs> I thought the seat was quite comfy. Yeah, it's not It's not the comfiest, but it's okay. I thought that was all right. I didn't have a problem with that. There's certainly enough power in it for what it is. You can always swap the seat though. You can swap the seat if you don't bit, like it. A but bit bigger seat, but yeah. it is a gel one. Yeah. It's just slimmer than some of the others we've tried. Yeah. Plastic but, mud guards, nice and easy to clean. There are aluminium rims. Oh no, not the plastic, the nylon rims. So they won't rust, which is good. The frame, as I say, is all aluminium. The controls are quite easy to use. I like the display. A very straightforward up and down for the motor. And yeah. And it is quite powerful. You don't need a lot on. Five settings on there. And all the settings on here tell you how fast you've been, where you've been, how much power you've got left. It takes Easy about is. five, five, six hours to charge. It wasn't fully flat when it was delivered. But um, five or six hours to charge it from flat. Um, the weight, I'll put the weight down below, but I think that's about 30 kilograms which isn't bad for a bike of that size. It's got a decent size battery in. I'll put all the specs down below as we're going through this. And we could, you can have a look at all the specs that are in the website as well. Regarding the price of this, we're filming this actually on Boxing Day <laughs> because it's the first day the wind stopped and we've had some decent sunny weather. So we're making the most of it. So I haven't got all the information yet to say how much it is and some of the specs, but I'll put those in the description or I'll put the price down here underneath some of the uh, footage so you can see how much it is. 25 kilograms on there, you can put a big basket on there, go and do your shopping. But yeah, I like the idea of a folding e-bike, not just for camper vans, but that idea of putting it in the back of your car, getting out to the countryside and going for a ride around. I think that's a real good way of doing it. Anyway, we've uh, reviewed quite a few of those bikes and they've always been good. There's a lot of similarity in them, just different designs and different looks. Also with this, it comes with two keys and the key fits in here underneath. And you turn that on to actually get the power to the display. And then your controls are on the bars here. But that locks into the underneath so it can't fall out while you're cycling. But if you take that out, that actually switches the power off and nobody can ride off on your bike with power. But let us get back to Whippet HQ and we'll have a look at taking the battery out and folding it up and we'll do the measurements to see what size it is. Are you cold enough yet? Yeah. 
<laughs> Time for a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> Simple controls on this one. Black and white display, indicator how much battery you've got, how fast you're going. You can change that from kilometres to miles per hour. Uh, your distance and your total mileage, and they're all interchangeable. Simple up and down buttons there, five settings for your speed. Uh, so there's um, your on and off button there once you've switched on with a key underneath. And this is switching your lights on and off and some of your resets on your display as well. Nice bright lights on it and that's a brake light as well. These lights before and they are bright enough to cycle with. They're not just there for people to see you. They're quite a bright light on a dark night. There's a clip on the handlebars there. You can just lift this lever up and they fold this side. And then there's a clip on here and you just undo that. And obviously drop the seat down. And it's ready to fold up. Pedals are already folded. They just clip like that. And they're probably half the size of the pedals. Falls in the middle. And it stands on its own stand like so. Width wise, I would say is around 18 and a half inches, 19 inches wide. Length around 37. Width, and we're done width height. I'm trying to rush because it's starting to rain. <laughs> uh, about 31 inches high, 30, 30 inches high, but easily easy to lift like that and put in back of your camper van or your car. The key that's under here, that you use to switch it on and off, locks the battery in. So if you move this, it moves this lock to get your battery out as well. And this, quite easily, will fit in back of a car. The other good thing about having a folding bike is storage. If you live in a small flat or you're on going with your room, it folds up and fits in any space really. I think I need to clear some room out of here. So there we have it, the Engway folding bike. And I really, really like this one. It's probably one of my favourites. If I was to change anything, I'd probably have bigger mud guards on for winter use, but not a major dis deciding factor. You can easily buy different mud guards. Easy to fold up, lightweight, to be less than 30 kilograms is really, really good. Decent sized battery in it with a really good range. Um, and just easy to use. And of course it'll fit the back of your car or back of your camper van because it folds up and it's nice and lightweight. Uh, I don't really have any negative things to say about it really. It is what it is. Um, Engway are a good make. We've reviewed quite a few of Engway bikes. Just come in other colours and I think I've shown those in the video. But a nice straightforward bike and what could you use it for? Well obviously for camping in your camper van, park up on a campsite and cycle into the village. You could commute on this, I think it would be ideal to commute. It will fit in back of your car, so as I say you can take it to the countryside and have a cycle around. You could go to a pub in your car, have a few beers, maybe not too many, and then cycle up. <laughs> but it's just a versatile bike, you can use it just like a normal bike. But it folds as well for that added advantage if you want to move it anywhere. Love the design, love this moulded finish. And uh, so pleased that they, they're not ridiculously priced. Um, I'm talking about price and other information, do check the description below because all the information I've got from there will be in the, in the description and there will be links to the website. Check to see what the, value, what the price of this is because there might be offers on since I've filmed this. I do update the information for these videos as time goes by so if anybody send me some more information I'll update the, the information on the website so there may be offers on you know, six months down the line, it might be a different price. It might have gone up again because the sale's finished or it might have gone down even more. But I think these will sell really well and I think you'll see a lot of these about. So that just leaves me to say on this very windy and wet day, <laughs> you won't believe how long it's taken to film this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. And hopefully the weather will be better.